fell overboard. Now we say fig. You're a bit grumpy, aren't you? But well called for you're the, the roundest, the rosiest, and the reddest beauty in all Spithead. Red am I, and round and rosy. Maybe, for I have dissembled well. But hark ye, my merry friend, hast ever thought that beneath a gay and frivolous exterior there may lurk a cankerworm which is slowly but surely eating its way into one's very heart? Well, nay, less, I can't say I've ever thought that. I've thought it. Often. Yes, he looked like it. What's the matter with the man? Isn't he well? Oh, don't pay no heed to him. That's only poor Dick Deadeye. I say it's a beast of a name, isn't it? Dick Deadeye. It's not a nice name. I'm ugly too, ain't I? You're certainly plain. And I'm three-cornered too, ain't I? 
You are rather triangular. Ah, ha, 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 ha. That's it. I'm ugly and they hate me for it. For you all hate me, don't you? We, we do! do. <laughs> there. Well, Dick, <laughs> you, you can't expect a chap with a name such as Dick Deadeye to be a popular character now, can you? No. It's asking too much, isn't it? It is. From such a face and form as mine, even the noblest sentiments sound like the black utterances of a depraved imagination. It is human nature. I am resigned. But tell me, who's the youth whose faltering feet with difficulty bear him on his course? That is the smartest lad in all the fleet, Rafe Redstraw. kindly chorus but choruses yield little consolation when we have pain and sorrow too before us I love and love alas above my station he loves and loves alas above his station yes yes, yes, yes alas he's much above his station A maiden fair to see the pearl of minstrelsy, a bud of blushing beauty. For whom proud nobles sigh and with each other vie to do her menial's duty. To do her menial's duty. A suitor lowly born with hopeless passion torn and poor beyond the as dead for her to pine at whose exalted shrine a world of wealth is sighing. A world of wealth is sighing. Unlearned he in naught save that which love has taught for love had been his tutor. Oh pity, pity me our captain's daughter, she and I, that lowly suitor. Oh, pity, pity me, our captain. 